Hey bitch, it's me Collins and welcome back to my channel. So we're back again and for today's video we're going to be revealing your deepest darkest secrets again because you guys really enjoy the first one that I did and y'all wanted me to make a part two so here is me making a part two. This time I brought my cross with me. I have Jesus by my side because you know the last time we did this video it was it was very disgusting very dirty very scandalous and you know what today I wanted to have God by my side just so I feel protected I don't want to get affected by the things I'm about to read to y'all today so we have God we have the Lord by our side protecting us guiding us throughout this mission <laughs> so um you know he's chilling I'm chilling and let's get into it. Before I do begin, if this is the first time you're watching me, please, please, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well as turn it on the post notifications. Turn on notifications so you get notified each time we post. And girl, we're happy to have you, bitch. Welcome to the family, girl. We're a hot mess over here. We're petty, we're shady. It's just, you get what you get. <laughs> you get what you get. And the first one on the list already got me packed, bitch. I'm already upset, I'm, I'm livid. He said, I had sex in my foster family's graveyard. Bitch. <laughs> you guys are something else in the bitch the graveyard. The graveyard. Are you come on, bro? You know, I feel so bad for the poor souls in that graveyard who are just trying to rest in peace. Those souls are just trying to rest in peace. And now they can't rest in peace. Cause there you go doing the nasty in their home. Bitch, that's home invasion. You're invading their home. The spirits, the ghosts. They're you come on. You're invading their privacy. Don't be surprised, okay? When down the road, you start experiencing some paranormal and spiritual activities because they want revenge, bitch. They're coming for blood because you invaded their home doing the nasty. Imagine, bitch, imagine being a ghost waking up, bitch, doing that. Like, girl, I'm just trying to rest in peace, bitch. I'm just trying to rest in peace, and there you go, doing the nasty. Wow. Wow. Oh, let's move on. <laughs> this next person says, My sister Kaylee instead of seeing this guy named Ryan. He was that. Mm. One night when she left for work and left me and him home alone, because I was staying the night and she was working the night shift, we decided to watch a movie. I started rubbing his leg. It was so warm. He didn't say anything, so I proceeded and he did the same. We slept together time to time without her knowing. It's been three months and he proposed to, get out. He proposed to her? Oh wow, okay. It's been three months he proposed to her knowing that we're still effing. But I still kept it a secret because I never liked her. That's your sister. I never plan on telling her because I don't plan on ruining my business. <laughs> but hey, there's nothing wrong with getting dick once in a while. There's something wrong with getting dick once in a while. How dare you, that's your sister's man. That's your sister's man, are you kidding? She also sent in some receipts. She sent in some of the messages that she had with him and the guy, which says, okay, he says, baby, you up for tonight? I already got it warmed up. Don't leave me lonely. She says, most definitely, babe. He says, I might have to leave Kalia. Oh, God. She says, nah, we need someone to pay for our condoms. Get that. You guys are a hot mess. You guys are hot. I'm living for this. He says, I pay for everything. She just go to work so she don't be lazy. Then she says, that's my rich daddy. He says, kitty wet. She says, for you. Wow. Oh my God. Oh, there's more text. She says, hey baby, you still coming over? He says, most definitely. I got to get you good. He says, we still got to keep this between me and you though. We can't let Kalia know. Wow. She says, of course, baby, I got to get you wet tonight. He says, I'll be there in 10. She says, KK. Okay, this is a mess. This is a, what do you think? Let's, God, what do you think? Sad. Look at him, sad. Sad. He's just, he's just nodding his head. He's disappointed. He's, dis he's mad. He's upset. This is a hot mess. Come on, guys. Oh, I feel so bad for your sister. She probably thinks she's about to marry the man of her dreams. Not knowing he's playing both sides, girl. Girl, he's doing you and your sister. He's doing you and your sister to, at the same time. See, I'm not judging. Yes, I am. I'm judging. <laughs> I'm judging. This is a mess. This is a hot mess. Oh, my God. This person says, when I was in first grade, I had to get surgery on my ding-dong because the hole wasn't big enough. 
stop, stop laughing, that's not funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> because the hole wasn't big enough. After the surgery, I went home and didn't, I didn't know that the gauze was supposed to stay on to prevent the bleeding. Mind you, I was like seven, so I took the gauze off because it felt uncomfortable. And I literally cried my ass off because it hurt so bad. <gasps> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! That oh, I feel your pain. That hurts. I just I know that hurts. That's that's gotta hurt. Oh my god, that is so sad. That is so sad. Well, on the bright side, the hole is bigger now. <coughs> Let's move on, please. Let's move on. <laughs> I've been having an affair with a married man. Actually, the security guard at my high school, wow! I lied to my parents and say that I have afternoon classes until 4, so we can have sex in the classrooms, and now I think I'm pregnant. Wait a minute, in high school, please don't tell me you're underage. Please do not tell me you're underage. Even if you're 18, you're still a high schooler. That is a security guard in a high school, working in the high school. That is unacceptable, excuse me? Excuse me, with the security guard. Okay, parents, parents, if you're watching, tune in. If your child tells you, hey mom, hey dad, listen, I won't be home on time today because I have afternoon classes until four. They're lying to you. Lies, bitch. They're lying to you because this is what they're doing. When you think your child is being a good kid, you know, in school studying, getting those A's, they're over there effing the security guards, bitch. Little did you know. <laughs> Little did you know. They're over there effing security guards. Who's next? The lunch ladies? Bitch, the principal? The bus drivers? Come on! Bitch, you're effing everybody on the list because at this point, no one is off limits. No one's off limits. This is on a... You see, I'm just... I'm just praying that you're not underage. I'm praying that you're not underage because this is unacceptable. Wow. I once used a banana as a dildo. What is wrong with you guys? You guys are sick, man. What? First of all, how is that even possible? Because bananas, girl, bananas are not that strong. So that's just... Oh, bitch, that's... Me you squ that's just squished inside. <laughs> Ew, 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 ew. Please, I'm sorry. Let's move on. Next, 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 next. Last year, I hated school so much, I purposely gave myself a back injury and staged it as an accident and ended up switching my L1 and L2. And I have back problems forever now. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at her. Your back. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so sad. Imagine when she gets old. Oh my God, bitch, those back pains. Those back pains, I feel, bitch, I'm over here. I'm thinking about your future. <laughs> I'm over here thinking about your future. Girl, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. When you hit 60, <laughs> mama, when you hit 60, those back pains. Oh, wow. I'll go we'll pray for her. We're gonna, I'll put you in my prayers, okay, baby? That is so sad. Oh, wow. This next one, she says, I'm in an abusive relationship with a man I've been with for eight months. What? My friends and family keep telling me to leave him, and I want to leave him, but I can't because the sex is too good. Get the f*** out of here. Get the f*** out of here. You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh, my God. That's a black eye. That's a oh, bitch. Look at your lips. Okay, miss, you've got to leave. You've got to. What do you mean? What do you mean the sex is too good? Come on. See, ladies, ladies, <laughs> never, ever compromise the values and respect you have for yourself over a man and and a, that a, a good sex. Good sex? You're choosing to be in an abusive relationship because of sex? Mama, there are plenty of penises out there in the world. <laughs> there is a plethora of penises out there in the world, ones that don't beat you and abuse you and give you black eyes and a busted lip. I, I, don't, even, I don't even feel comfortable putting these pictures on screen because it's very graphic. This is sad. 
This is really, 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 really sad. Let's let me, let's pray for her, please. Dear Father God, homegirl is in an abusive relationship and she's choosing to stay there because the sex is good. Father God, I pray that you open her eyes. You make her realize her worth. You open her eyes to good pe to good penises out there because you know there are plenty of them out there. Please, Lord, deliver her from this from this from this situation because she needs you right now, Lord. She needs you right now, Lord. For in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. We know you will answer our prayer, Lord. We know you will. <laughs> this next one, she says, I'm by. No one knows. Shh. All says, oh, well, girl, thank you for coming out. Welcome to the club. We're happy to have you. <laughs> so these two bitches kept annoying me. And I was like, bitch, don't play with me. I'm dangerous. They didn't listen. I'm a boy, and I was not about to fight them. So I made fake accounts and started rumors that they were chatting ish about each other. They fought, no one messes with me, period. Oh. Oh, oh, he sent in a video. Oh, oh. First of all, let's talk about the guy. Honestly, I can't even be mad at him. I, I can't because this is something I would have done like two years ago, like back in my petty days, you know, back in my like my really, really petty days. This is something I would have this is some shit I would have done. Really, this is something I would have done. So I can't even be I can't even be mad at you for that. I can't be mad at you for that because I'm not judging. I'm not judging because I'll do the same. So on but let's talk about the video. Y'all already know how I feel about fighting. You guys know, you know my motto. Bad bitches don't fight. We what? We press charges. So I don't, I, I, it's just, honestly, it really baffles my mind. I don't understand why people still fight in 2019. Like, I don't, I don't get the logic with fighting back. Like, I, this is my logic. Like, if somebody were to put their hands on you, the smart thing to do is take their ass to court and bitch, you benefit off of that financially. Bitch, their pockets is the best revenge. Okay, you get them where it really hurts, bitch. Financially, bitch, you secure the bag. Mama, okay, baddies, we, I don't, people who still fight, you're just less than smart. You're just less than smart. I mean, unless, unless, like, somebody's, like, really, really attacking you and, like, you have no other choice but to self-defense, that's a different situation. But based off this video, based off this video, this looks like a private school because they've got uniforms, I'm guessing, this is a private school, which means somebody's parents has money. Someone is financially stable, mama. <laughs> If I was one of those girls and the other put their hands on me, it could have it could have just been a pull. Like she could have just done oh, ah, ah, 911! 9 I'm emotionally, I'm emotionally distressed. I'm traumatized. What was that? $250,000 for being traumatized. Thank you very much. I'll take the check. <laughs> you know what I mean? From now on, can we start making money moves? Can we start making smart decisions? Smart decisions? No more fighting. Bad bitches don't fight. We press charges, okay? Someone puts their hands on you, take them to court, bitch, and secure the bag. <laughs> I put dishwashing soap in my fish tank back in fifth grade just to see and watch all my fishes die slowly. You are one evil bitch! You are one e Oh my god! That's evil! That's so- Oh, that's so me! Why would you- Wow! Don't be surprised bitch where you're in your deathbed dying slowly. Remember the fishes. Okay? When you're old as fuck and you're in your deathbed about to die, dying slowly. Remember the fishes, cause bitch, karma, she's coming for your ass, bitch. You let those poor fishes die like that, you murder, you kill them fishes. You're gonna get your karma, bitch. You're going to get your karma. Don't be, don't be surprised. Don't ask why. When you're in your deathbed, dying slowly, 
remember the fishes because you caused this upon yourself. <laughs> I asked out a nerdy kid in grade 9 because I felt extremely bad for him, but he rejected <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but he rejected me. <laughs> Compose yourself. It may not seem like a dark secret, but it was so embarrassing and like I never <laughs> <laughs> I never even told my best friend who I wh whom I tell everything. It was so it was weird. That is oh oh that is so funny though. You you've got to laugh. You've got to laugh. That is hilarious. Imagine her being so confident, like walking up to the kid, like no, she in, in her mind she's about to do something super great, super sweet. Walks up to the kid, like hey John, wanna grab lunch sometime? You know, hang out. He says no. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I might be a nerd. He might be a nerd, but he still has standards. And baby girl, you don't match up to those standards. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's funny. You've got to laugh. You've just got to laugh at it. Okay, we have another person with an affair. This person says, I'm having an affair with the pastor at my church. He's a married man with three kids. I'm already livid. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I know God will forgive me. Bitch, no, he's not. Let's ask God. Hey, Lord, are you going to forgive her? He said no. <laughs> he said you're going to perish in hell. <laughs> he said you're going to perish in hell. He's not, he's not going to forgive you. He's not going to forgive. Come on. This is something. You guys are sick, man. Y'all are sick. That's the pastor. No, let, let's get on the pastor. You are a pastor. What is a pastor who is allegedly the man of God doing with another person? Knowing you have a wife and three kids. Are you kidding? There is no way. There is no way. You see, this is why you guys need to be careful with the people you call your pastors and the churches you go to because some of them, not all of them, but some of them are not who they claim to be. Okay? They can come out into the altar and preach the word of the Lord to you, but they turn around and do the next. They're doing behind the scenes. <laughs> behind the scenes, they're doing some effed up, fraudulent, disgusting things behind the scenes. And they show up every Sunday. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! No, bitch. You're not fooling anybody. This is disgusting. You bitches are going to hell. Both of y'all are going to hell. You are going to hell. But it's okay, because bitch, I'll see y'all there. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please, please, please do not forget to give this a big thumbs up, as well as, again, subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified each time I post. Girl, I know you like what you see. Subscribe! Oh, also, I want to make Mondays, like, my official posting day. So my official posting days will be Mondays. Um, but I'm now in school. I'm back in college. I know, bitch. <sighs> I'm back in college, so, like, obviously, it's going to be harder for me now to, like, post more often just because I'm doing schoolwork. You know, a bitch is in college, okay? We love a, but we love a bad bitch. We love a bad bitch who's still trying to get that degree, okay? We love an educated bad bitch. Am I right? Can I, say, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Stay in school, kids. <laughs> but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'll see you bitches next week, hopefully. And um, yeah, bye, bitch! <laughs>